the brain does it. The brain, an interesting thing about it, once you figure out how the brain works, it's pretty simple to use. It, it's, it's the, there's common patterns. I hope this is helpful. Um, I told you I have MCS. Was it Multiple that? chemical sensitivities. Oh, uh, okay. And guess what? I've been in this hotel, nasty, stinky, <laughs> smoky. I'm fine. I've eaten at the restaurant now. We're at home. I would only eat organic. I mean, I'm very careful, and I'll have a reaction to everything. I'm fine. I'm it's, good. it's amazing. Very good. I, I have tried to help the other people in my group. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I got basically the same yeah. reaction. They yeah. like wallowing in their pain. So I left. They I'm have, done. It's, 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 you have to understand, we've got to put one more thing on this. Pain is my identity. Pain is my identity. I am pain. Um, I've worked through with Faster of T all kinds of symptoms. I've gotten rid of everything from IBS and headaches and back pain, uh, hip pain, um, just uh, a bunch of different things. And I've gotten to the point now where if I have pain show up, I'm not paying attention to the pain. I'm going, what's happening in my life? That's my first question to myself. And last week, I started having stomach aches. Thinking, what's going on with this? And it had been so long since I had pain that I was kind of fooled for a little bit. For a couple of days, I was kind of thinking, what if I, did I eat something? Is it a bug? And then I was like, oh yeah, okay. So I kind of was doing a little art of change. When did this start? What was going on? My husband had a new job and we'd been together a bunch and now he's gone 12 hours a day. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I did some tapping on that. Boom. No more, no more stomach aches, no more pain. Mm -hmm. Dang, there it is. And it, so it's just, even when you clear it out, like with Heather at the doctor or whatever, you have to kind of keep that mindset going. It's like, yeah. okay, what's going on in my life? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah you'll, always, you'll always see your pain show up when emotional events are occurring or something you're not dealing with. I wanted to share that um, <clears throat> when I came over four years ago, I had tons of pain. And by the way, I was diagnosed with a severe case of fibromyalgia, just so you know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it was severe, you know. And, um, you just didn't have normal everyday fibromyalgia. No, no, no. I had like, you know, I was an overachiever. Um, but I came with tons of pain. And so yesterday, honestly, I was at the back of the room tapping and crying because I'm so grateful because you said okay go notice any pain in your body and I'm like man I feel so amazing I'm like I can't like I from head to toe I feel so much peace and I'm just so grateful and who knew it was emotions you know and stress and memories and stuff like that but it's amazing you guys take courage and go and address these hard memories your body will heal. It's so amazing. And um, yeah, I'm just super grateful for this technique. And uh, yeah, so anyways, it's, it's real. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Obviously, I didn't because, you know, I was practicing this for like 20 years. Amazing. But um, yeah. yeah, of being miserable. But it's, you know, you can, like Robert says, be the great gatekeeper of your mind. And, uh, and you can just yep. get better. Very good.